What's the loan life we're looking at? How to make a life worth living and return with happiness? When we do these things, we are really considering what is and isn't important. What is important is that we have a life partner that supports us, loves us, guides us, rebukes us, helps us, laughs with us, dances with us, listens to music with us, goes to movies with us, snuggles with us, hugs with us, and does other important, important, important intimacy things with us our whole life, and never looks outside of those areas for those things in other people. Because we can have bromances, and we can have brothers, and we can have sisters of the Lord, but we are really looking for that one that really raises us up, lights us up like a Christmas tree, and never stops. And we never stop thinking of them, and we never stop loving them, and we just can't. It's just not within our blood to do that. We also have marvelous friends that come into our life who have the ability to be our love lines, but when they do choose, when they finally choose, we don't expect them to come in and play and leave and all these things. What we expect them to do is to come in and stay. And when they come in and stay, that makes a lifeline. And a lifeline has many lifelines. But a lifeline of three is what God expects of me. And the people who know me understand what that means. Pagans are different than Christians and Wiccans and other different types of religions. But spirituality is a major thing for me. So if you can't handle it, then maybe you're not right for me. If God isn't first for you, then I guarantee you're not going to be second for me. But in life, when a man loves God first and his wives second, then that's all that matters. When I say wives, it's because we all have girlfriends, guy friends of the past, and I'm trying to be as politically correct as I can be. But we also have people who like to make a noise behind an audio cast, which isn't marvelous for me.